Okay, what I'm going to try and do is fix this Mavic Air. I just fired it up. I haven't been using it for like a couple of months while I've been waiting for a replacement part and then it just made me waste 20 minutes of my life updating the firmware on it when I turned it on just to come to this main controller data error. Um, this I've seen a few videos on this on the web. You get all of this kind of stuff: accelerometer fail, gimbal, gyroscope, all this drama. Um, I had to get something else fixed with uh, DJI, and I showed them this, and they basically, as you can see, there's an IMU error, um, and DJI said that they would take it in and fix it and it was going to cost 550 bucks because basically they say they just replaced the whole body there's no fix so I went on the web found this which is an IMU and I'm going to try and pull it apart and change it out myself for a $20 fix instead of 550 bucks because it seems such a waste to replace the whole body so I'll try that fix and see what I can do because you can't do anything here if you try to calibrate the IMU can see that's all disconnected 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 hit the calibrate IMU button and I'll show you basically you hit the start button nothing happens so I'm going to pull it apart and replace the IMU You can see the little clips, it's just uh, going through the painful process of using a credit card style thing to get the clips off. Potentially you just need something stiffer but I'm just being patient and working my way around. I'm not sure you can see a little bit of a depression there as I'm working it. I assume that there's a few more clips at the front. Okay, as is typical, DJI DIY, I have tried every bloody screwdriver that I can imagine just to try and get rid of the two little screws I uh, don't think you can see the depressions they're leaving there you go um, the two little screws near the gimbal which are a pain in the butt um, so can't even get past step one so they're going more extreme measures um, I'm just drilling them out I'll deal with it later, maybe glue the top panel back on even if it needs it, but yeah, can't even get past step one at the moment, so I'm going for more extreme measures. It seriously shouldn't have been that hard. Anyway, the cover's off and now I will continue.
tell you what, this is such a pain in the ass. Oh, okay. I did see on on uh, one the video I looked at to take this apart. This showed that it had the same kind of clips as the other bit. Uh, but then I watched a video later on and it seemed to be taped down. And now that I'm moving this along, I can kind of hear the tape ripping. So I believe this is, yep, it's taped and clipped. So we'll just have to, you know, get some double-sided tape to put that back on. Whoa, there she goes. Now these apparently are the little tabs for the gimbal and it looks like it's glued on a bit interesting if you can see those one sort of had some glue and the other didn't seem to oh no it's got a bit of sticky stuff there I'm trying to avoid pulling the entire thing apart. Like the video I saw on the web, he pulled off the gimbal, like all the actual, um, all this and pulled the gimbal and camera out, the CPU fan, everything. Um, I'm trying to avoid that. So I've just disconnected a few of these um, ribbon cables. So a little ribbon cable from there. Um, the triple ribbon cable arrangement at the back there um, to try and get myself enough kind of leverage to avoid pulling the whole board out so I can just get that which is the IMU that's all I want to replace I'll have a go well I did it um, managed to get the IMU in there without having to take the whole board out I think it's a bit easier to do it that way take out my high tech stand to keep it up so there's the old IMU, new one is plugged in, just got to tighten the screws and um, have zero faith that I haven't kind of mucked anything else up in there, but I'll start putting it back together. It appears to have worked. I'm getting no error. And IMU is normal. Well, time to go for a fly. Okay, this time after it was on for a little while it says it needs a IMU calibration, which is awesome. So I put it on well, yeah, it's on the flat ground. Keep it powered on, do not run the motor. And then the I clicked on the button when it said calibrate IMU and it popped straight up with start. And this time it did start calibrating, so we'll see what happens after that. 
IMU calibration is done. Um, went through the steps, switching it around. So on its side, on its back, etc. The instructions weren't clear. It sat there for ages. I waited for like five minutes or more. Then I realized you've got to follow the, the orientation on the screen. So put it on its side, back, front, and off it went. And now what we have here is accelerometer, gyroscope, everything looks good. Of course it's got to download another update. Even though I've just downloaded all the updates five seconds ago. So I'll just finish that off and um, we'll go for the first test flight after the IMU replacement. Alright, we're off with the first test. Got to calibrate compass error, I would assume. So, since I haven't calibrated it, so I'll calibrate the compass. Go through another couple of settings. It's flying, that excites me. I'm pretty excited because the little beast is flying. And it hasn't flown for a very long time. This is my first kind of fix of this thing. Well, first fix of any kind of, I built my own quadcopter to start with, but I've never hacked or cracked or fixed any of these. So, I'm very happy. Got the return to home go. Had a very successful flight. Now it's got its precision return to home. Let's see how well it does. Couple of centimeters away.